We've asked for calls. We're getting so many. Um, but we said we'd bring you to air and we're, we're, we're very happy to do that. As happy as you can be in circumstances like this. Uh, Shay is a big Rangers fan. Shay, good morning to you. Hi, Jim. Hi, things. Um, good morning. Good morning, Shay. Simon's with me. Um, Shay, what would you like to say? Did you, you obviously met Walter? Did you, you did you know him? He was a he was a hero of mine. To be fair, um, I met him back. I think it was maybe two thousand and ten. My brother had a disability, and he, he signed things for for him. And yeah, it's really tough. Um, the news this morning hit our family very very hard. Um, uh, and I believe you wanted a, a jersey signed for your brother, and Walter happily did that, yeah, did he? Yeah, my brother, he had a disability, and he was coming out of the game, and Walter signed the jersey, so he did. And he, he, he even stood, he was talking to us for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And he's just a, a, a complete down to earth guy, like. he was yes. one, one of the kind. So he was. Shay, thank you for that. Thanks for joining us. Gordon, good morning. Another Rangers fan. I think you're in Glasgow. Good morning. Good morning, Jim. How are you doing? All right, Gordon, as well as you can in circumstances like this. Um, again, you no doubt heard Simon there and uh, obviously Ali joined us for uh, a period of time there. I mean, this uh, news is extremely hard to take for all Rangers fans, all fans of football and, of course, uh, everybody who admired Walter Smith. What's your What's your memory of him, Gordon? Do you have a particular one? Yeah, well... I work in the Glasgow area and, uh, and I'm meant to be working and I used to turn up at Tipwood Road Cricket Ground. Oh, I know where you are, yeah. And and watch your training every day. It used to be Walter Smith, Archie Knox and me standing and they never, ever once turned me away and we got to be friendly and Ali, Ali will tell you, I got friends with Ali and had a wee drink with Ali but Walter used to invite me in now and again when he seen me outside I brought for a wee drink and things like that. Yep. Uh, what a, what a gentleman. Any time you ask him for anything, he would turn up. He would give me strips and everything. For, I used to run boys clubs, like for the auctions for the boys clubs and everything. He was just a gentleman, pure, pure gentleman. Gordon, thanks for coming on and thanks for sharing that. Uh, George Kaplan, I've just watched on YouTube, Jim and Simon, I watched Ali talk about Walter. Truly heartbreaking, extremely brave from Mali, and we'd echo that, uh, Simon, of course. Here's Gareth, another Rangers fan. Gareth, good morning. Hi, Jim. Um, Jim, I'm, uh, I'm definitely not a Rangers fan, mate. Uh, I'm a Celtic fan. But oh, you're Celtic. I beg one. your pardon. <laughs> oh, thank you for coming on, Gareth. Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. What would you want to say about, from a Celtic uh, viewpoint, what would you say about Walter? I just want to say uh, my thoughts are with his uh, family at this time. Um, in terms of um, Walter as a guy, uh, rivalry aside and everything like that, like things like that just do not matter at times like this. Um, I mean, there's nobody that would want Celtic to win when uh, whenever we're playing, and uh, it's the same with like obviously uh, Walter on the other side. Um, but I'd been fortunate to meet him a couple of times because I, I knew Gordon Jury's family really well. Yeah, and. Uh, so about, uh, probably going back about 10 years ago now, uh, I was at the Cameron house with my wife and hmm. uh, in the morning I'd went down to the gym and I was on the treadmill. So I was on the treadmill for about five minutes and um, Walter Smith came in and uh, went on the treadmill next to me. And so I, I basically said to him about obviously meeting them before and whatever and we started uh, chatting away as we were running. And uh, I joked him and I said to him, like, uh, I can't have like an old guy who's a, an ex-Rangers <laughs> man uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, last, lasting longer than me on a treadmill. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so uh, after 40 minutes and like ha- halfway through realising how fit he was. <laughs> oh, uh, I, he came I, out I started, on top, did he? Uh, right. Well, I started thinking to myself, like, yeah. uh, this has got to be a lot longer than I thought. So anyway, after 40 minutes, I got off and I just said to him, like, are you in water? And uh, yeah. he, he says, "Well, I'll, I'm glad you got off first. <laughs> so, like, uh, he's a lovely, lovely That's guy. That's great, Gareth. Um, and my thoughts go out to him. And Gareth, and just before family. you go, Simon's with me. Maybe you could explain to everybody listening as well. It takes a special, special man to be so popular uh, with Celtic fans, having done so much with your arch rivals, Rangers, doesn't it? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, I think that uh, Tommy Burns was exactly the same. I think Absolutely." That, uh, yeah. Anyone who's in the right mind, um, doesn't matter what team you support, uh, these are just genuinely great, great men. Um, and they should be honoured that way by, by every side. 
um, and that's exactly how football should be Gareth thank you thank you so much for taking time out to come on and thanks for your words Celtic fan Gareth Simon tells you yep. everything doesn't it absolutely the man liked by so many right across uh, the, the respected area. and admired and liked and, and great men have the ability to be able to unite people even in, a, even in the most divisive of environments and you know Ali going back to Ali's tribute that is what a tribute looks like and that goes to the heart we all get very sentimental and rightly so at times like this but when you get someone like Ali McCoy who has the right to be sentimental because this is somebody that had such an influence in his life and I think the big part of it that I took away from it was Ali's reference back constantly back to his family because we've we've lost a football man we've lost somebody we've admired a family have lost far more than that yes and i think it's absolutely right that ali made the central theme about the loss to to the, to his wife to his children and to their children to their grandchildren so yeah. it is a sad yeah. day ethel and the boys uh, you're very much in our hearts this morning and thanks to ali once again for doing that as tough as it was uh, walter smith has passed away age 73 jim white and Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.